Alrighty guys, welcome back to another ST vlog. We're gonna go catch some fish. It's Monday, uh, August 5th. We're gonna go catch some fish. <clears throat> fish in a Lake Michigan connected lake. Used to catch fish here back in the day. A uh, couple decent bass, a couple decent pike. So hopefully we're gonna go catch something. I uh, got the glide bait, got the wake walker tied on. Uh, just a quick trip. I gotta go help my grandpa today, so only a couple hours it is. 5.50 right now and we gotta be off the water by about 8.15 so we're gonna go blow up the paddle board and hopefully we're gonna go smash some fish. We're gonna switch to the either the chesty or the big uh, stick just depends on uh, if it's gonna be rainy or not and hopefully we're gonna be whacking some fish. If not this might be a two-part video we might do some fishing after we help my grandpa so I don't know let's see let's go catch some fish guys. Alright, there's a bass. Okay. I feel a lot more confident now. We know there's fish over here. Thanks, cast. <laughs> Pretty decent one on the wake walker, that new Leviathan Simple Faith. We'll get a length on this guy real quick. That's awesome. Next cast after I said there was fish here. Super cool. Chunky fish. Spots I've been fishing do not have fish as chunky as this. But that's a good sign. It's all wrapped up in my line right here. One. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if that was a sucker or a king right there. May have been a trout. I hope my big head wasn't in the way. Oh my god. That's a pike. Oh, it's a bowfin. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Holy shit. Holy shit. They took my tail. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Alrighty guys. You guys just watched a couple uh, me pull on that bass. That snake had pull on me. That thing whooped my booty. But. We're, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that motorcycle going by. 
But I just wanted to talk about the new Leviathan Simple Faith. Um, this is a rod that is dropping Friday, so when you guys are watching this, it will be dropping uh, tomorrow, Friday. You guys will be watching this on Thursday. But this rod is pretty badass for $200. I will say uh, this has become my new favorite rod. I think I like, I enjoy this rod more than my Omega. I've got an Omega Medium Heavy, and this is the uh, Simple Faith Heavy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Heavy 2-6 to six ounce, and... <clears throat> This thing is crazy light. I feel like with the split grip, you lose a lot of the weight. Uh, the Omegas are all OV or EVA foam, so you have a you have a decent amount of weight in the butt. Not a lot, not a crazy crazy amount, but this I feel like is a lot less with the cork and with the split grip. I'm usually not a fan of split grips. I'm a fan of this split grip for whatever reason. I don't know why. I was kind of skeptical on that. That's usually what I don't like is is split grips because it sits really weird in my like in my armpit area. I don't know if it's because it's shorter or what, but I'm a fan of it. I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, the cork, working in a shop that I do now, my hands are really dirty, so the only downside is my cork got dirty the first time I took it out. Uh, outside of that, it's a beautiful, beautiful rod. It's very simple. It's not overdone at all. If you want a rod that's really flashy, this probably is not the rod for you, but this thing is solid. For $200, you're buying a rod that's going to do what you want to. Um, I was fishing the K9 on this, which I think is a little right around that uh, that top rating, right around like that five ounce mark, and it was fine. Um, the rod had a lot of flex to it. Uh, I was slinging that bait, so as far as like overpowering the rod, I probably would try to avoid that if you can. And some people like that, you know. Uh, Jared likes to fish some pretty heavy baits on the lighter rods, and that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong to that, but. If you want to cast and maybe not feel like your rod is going to blow up, you know, uh, maybe maybe stick to that like two to five, five and a half ish. Maybe don't push that six. But the Wake Walker, beautiful Wake Walker rod, beautiful um, uh, Swimbait Republic Glideway 178 rod, uh, absolutely beautiful rod for those couple baits. Those are the two baits I fished the most on this so far. Um, it's also pretty fun for that 316, um, that new 316 bait you just came out with, that paddle tail, line through, super fun rod for that as well. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be buying more of these. For $200, I don't think you can beat it. I don't think there's a better production rod out there, custom production rod, uh, super badass setup. I'm really excited to buy some more of these. I have this paired up with a 6.2 Corrado K 200 size. I want to do a video on the Corrado K and why I think it's literally the best swim bait reel ever for somebody just getting into it and somebody who, who doesn't fish a lot of big stuff or who needs just a decent reel. These things are indestructible, bulletproof. Uh, this is my newer of the two, my other one. Never been cleaned before. Uh, on cast catches, I'm sure you guys will be able to hear that grinding. It's just an absolute workhorse. This 200K is a little bit newer, a little bit slower. My other one's an HG, so going from an HG to a 6.2, it's kind of taken me a little while to realize my, my reel speeds and how fast I have to spin my hand and stuff, turn my wrist. But altogether, this setup for being realistically, <clears throat> you could probably get a Corrado K for like 90 bucks. So we'll say for sub $300, Corrado, Corrado K, Leviathan Simple Faith, $300 setup. I don't know if you could get a better setup for, for 300 bucks. I'm sure you probably, you know, personally you could, but just on paper for a custom production rod and a good do it all reel from two to six ounces. This is the setup to do it with. Um, I'm super excited to fish this. Marshall is going to be coming up in the next couple days, and we're going to be fishing a bunch, and I'm going to be putting this rod through the paces. So maybe in about a month or two, or maybe at the end of the season, I'll do a full-length review of this rod, things I like, things I don't. I've only taken this rod out three times now. I just kind of explaining some stuff I like about it right off the rip. The other thing I do like <clears throat> is the hook hanger is on the handle. Uh, hook hanger up here on the Omegas, I feel like it gets snagged a lot when I go to cast. My line would get hooked on it and whatever not. <clears throat> but down here, I'm a big fan of the line, or the, the line tie right there. Line tie, hook hanger, whatever you want to call it. But sub $300 uh, custom production rod, the Leviathan Simple Faith is going to be my go-to no matter what now. Super badass rod. Super excited to get this thing out on the water. Um, and they're going to be dropping tomorrow. So go pick yourself up one if you're interested. There's been a lot of guys who've asked me about them. And now's your guys' chance. And here's a little uh, overview about it. Caught that, you know, probably realistically a nine, eight, nine pound uh, bow fin on this thing. Flexed pretty hard, but 
didn't even, honestly, wasn't even thinking about the rod. I was more thinking about my line, fishing 15 pound, get a little nervous every once in a while with bigger fish like that. But Simple Faith from Leviathan, going to be available tomorrow. Uh, go get yourself one, super fun rod. And like I said, in the next couple months, we'll have a full breakdown of the rod, give it my uh, my whole season to, uh, to kind of mess with it and see what I like and don't like about it. And uh, yeah, if you guys get one, let me know what you think about it. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.